Dr Norman Swan, good to have you back on the programme. Always my pleasure. Let's start with this. What is the government advising us now about the need for the next COVID booster? Well, that's the point. It's really more about boosters than it is about the fifth dose. And what they're saying is, if you haven't had a vaccination or a natural infection in the last six months and you're due a booster, have a booster. So that's a third one, fourth one, or indeed a fifth one. That's for people aged 18 and over. So that's really the advice. Mm -hmm. And because they've said it's 18 and over, that removes the restriction on the fourth booster, which was only for 30 year olds and over. So now everybody can have a fourth booster. And are they giving us any advice about which, which of the vaccines, the available vaccines we should take, just to be clear about that? They're advising the bivalent one as a preference, and probably you should go for the 4-5, the BA4-5 one, which is the latest one. But um, the evidence is that you get a bit of extra benefit from the bivalent vaccine, but it's not so huge that if all was, that was available for you was the original vaccine, uh, you'll still do pretty well. And if you're worried about myocarditis, you know, if you've got a heart problem, mm -hmm. The Novavax, you can ask, actually ask, ask for the Novavax and that'll probably give you quite a good boost as well. And tell me, does it matter if, if, if they're saying six months after either an infection or your last vaccination, does it matter if you take it too early or should you wait for the six months? So, he, so the important thing about this is in boosters and what they're, and a, a few international authorities are going kind of the same way. They're calling it the 2023 booster. So the US Food and Drug Administration are advising going for annual COVID shots. So there's evidence that comes together here. So they've looked at what's called hybrid immunity. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that there's so many people, for example, in Australia have had the natural infection plus the vaccination, that the, the level of immunity is quite high in the community and it lasts for quite a long time against severe disease, not, mm -hmm. not against uh, infection itself. Um, and th th but it does wane and it starts to wane at around about six months. So you're okay for that six month period. There are two problems here. One is five million Australians haven't even had the third dose. Mm. So we are a seriously under vaccinated cu country. So that's the first thing, we are under vaccinated. Yep. So the emphasis is on getting your booster shot. The second thing is, it sounds like good news. Your know, hybrid immunity gives you quite good immunity, mm. up over 90% against severe disease for several months. The kicker is you've actually got to have the natural infection and that is not good news. Anywhere between four and five percent of people, um, if they're fully vaccinated, will get long COVID. They'll get chronic lung problems. They'll get cerebral problems. They're at risk of a heart attack or stroke. Long COVID. If they're under vaccinated, it could be anywhere between 10 and 30 percent. So that's, this is not a benign virus. It is an exceptional virus. Now, the other piece of evidence is that it's beginning to emerge that having these vaccines under six months mm -hmm. doesn't give you as good a kick along as just waiting a little bit. The immune system, for whatever reason, has to just settle down a bit and be ready for the next vaccine. And under six months probably doesn't give you as much of a booster as waiting. So get it, but don't be in so much of a hurry that you move too fast. Yeah. Now, the exception to that would be people who are immunocompromised. Mm. They've already had their fifth dose. Uh, people with uh, multiple comorbidities who are extremely frail in aged care. But it, even, even there, it does seem that waiting six months is the right thing to do. So, but at the same time, we're talking about a population that is not well boosted, which is what you said earlier. Absolutely. So if you're one of those people who has chosen or just by circumstances hasn't got round to having a, a booster, what do you make of this advice now? Should you listen to it being number five and think that it doesn't apply to you? That's the problem. It's badly worded mm. because it's not about number five. It's about having your booster shot. Right. So if you haven't had, if, you, if, you, if, if over Christmas you had uh, a COVID infection as many millions of Australians did, mm. um, then you uh, should wait and probably until June to have your, your booster shot. But if you haven't had a natural infection for several months, <coughs> you should get your third dose or your fourth dose or your fifth dose. You can't have your fifth dose until you've had your fourth one. What is the Health Minister Mark Butler telling us? Uh, the government made an extraordinary concession uh, this week, which is that their pandemic is still around and mm. it is affecting lots of people. We have been obsessed during this pandemic with the size of the peak. Mm. And people who are arguing that the pandemic is over are saying, well, look at the size of the peak. The peaks are going down and we don't have a problem anymore. So we don't need to worry anymore. The problem is, mm. and this is maths, if you get a shallow curve, but it goes on for longer, more people are infected. 
So you might not get the drama of the high peak mm -hmm. and the headlines, but in fact, you get a much more serious outbreak. And that's what we've experienced over Christmas in Australia. A, 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 a low curve, but it's gone on for a long time and lots of people have been infected and people have died and lots of people will get long COVID. This pandemic is not over. Back to get your booster. Yep. Thank you very much indeed, Norman Swan. You're welcome.